There are several types of fogs. Each are named for how they are created. The first fog we will talk about is radiation fog. Radiation fog, also known as ground fog, is most prevalent in cooler fall and winter nights. Whenever you have warm, moist air in the day, get cooled over flatland areas on cool, calm, and clear nights, you'll get radiation fog. Ground and air near the surface is warm by the sun during the day. At night, the heat radiates into the upper atmosphere. If this radiation is enough, the air will become saturated when the temperature lowers to the dew point and fog will form. Radiation fog begins near the surface but usually continues to rise as the warmth of radiation lifts higher and higher. The next fog we will talk about is advection fog. Advection fog can occur in the presence of wind, which is unlike radiation fog in other fogs. The word advection literally means horizontal movement of air. So advection fog is simply caused by the horizontal movement of warm, moist air via winds to an area that is cooler and drier. As the warmer and more moist air moves into the region of cool air, it cools to the dew point and the moisture condenses to form fog. Advection fog is most likely to be seen near the coast. Warmer and more moist air can blow in from over the ocean in onto the land where it condenses, or as we see here, can be blown from land over the water where it collects moisture and cools to the dew point to form fog. The third fog we will talk about is evaporation fog. There are actually two types of evaporation fog. There's steam fog and then there's frontal fog. Steam fog occurs when warm water from a lake or ocean evaporates into the cold air above it. When enough water evaporates, it saturates the air above it and fog is formed. Pilots should be aware of rising air and thus turbulence in these areas and like all fogs, possible icing and freezing conditions. Frontal fog, on the other hand, occurs in frontal zones when rain from warm air masses falls into cooler and drier air below it, such that the raindrops evaporate into water vapor. When enough rainfall has evaporated at the lower levels, the air can become saturated and fog is formed. The last fog we will talk about is very, very common near mountains, and this is upslope fog. Upslope fog forms when warmer and more moist air is forced up sloping terrain to altitudes of cooler air. As the warmer moist air is pushed upslope by winds into the higher atmosphere or the hill or mountain, it cools and the water vapor within it condenses to form fog. Upslope fog can occur a considerable distance from a peak or slope and obscure the visibility of that terrain to approaching aircraft. 